All right, hey guys, this is AC Lock here with Softwash Systems, and we're doing this call tonight uh, as a call out to you guys that are doing carpet cleaning and floor cleaning out there in the floor cleaning industry to talk about the ability for you guys to magnify your interior cleaning or carpet cleaning business through soft washing. I, you know, I have a little bit of a heritage myself in the uh, carpet cleaning and floor cleaning business is how I worked my way through college. So I cleaned a lot of carpets at restaurants, did a lot of floors, did some jam sand work. And then we also have on here tonight, three great examples from the in-network companies of soft wash systems that we'll be able to talk about um, in, in a certainly uh, a much more knowledgeable way about how you bolt on, as Jim would say here, bolt on soft washing to your car carpet cleaning business and multiply that customer base that you have. Because I know right now that the carpet cleaning industry, from the feedback that we're getting, there's a little bit of a rut. Uh, a lot of people, including myself, have gotten rid of carpet in our homes. Uh, it seems to, I have allergies and things like that, and it's, it's hard to keep clean. And because of that, it's reduced the cleaning cycles in a lot of homes, and you don't get to go into those homes and clean as often as you used to. So you've got this great customer base, this great opportunity, this, this treasure trove of potential business in these customers that you've earned, frankly, um, the trust of, and, and they're on your customer list, and they want to buy from you, but they don't have the opportunity like they used to, to buy from you on a regular basis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce to you our three experts tonight, and we're going to go ahead and start with uh, Greg Badger. Hey, Greg, wh where are you from, and what's the name of your company? So we're in um, Charleston, Illinois, is where the company is. Uh, it's called XL Eco Clean, and we've been in business for about 27 years. Okay, awesome, awesome. And then uh, right next to your blow, you're kind of doing the Brady Bunch thing here with the squares on the screen. We have Mr. Jim McDonough. And uh, Jim, what's the name of your company and, and what market do you serve? All right, so um, Veterans Cleaning Solutions is the name of our company. I say our company, I have a business partner, John Capodaro, and we are located in Enterprise, Alabama. That's uh, LA for most people, lower Alabama. And lower if you Alabama. really want to get spe specific and dial it in, it's UCLA. It's the ugly corner of lower <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> so we're down, uh, we're down next to Fort Rucker, the home of Army Aviation. Uh, and so here we get to not only uh, service our clients, but we get to hear the sound of freedom every day with all the helicopters flying over. Awesome. That's great. That's great. And then right next to Jim, we've got Brian Marshall. And uh, Brian, introduce your lovely wife there and tell us about your cleaning company that you have. Yeah, so my name is Brian Marshall. This is my wife, Jeanette. And uh, we're with Marshall Cleaning Service in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, have been in business since 2012. Awesome. Awesome. So we've got three companies from three different corners of the country and uh, all have a heritage in the carpet cleaning business. And how did you guys find soft washing or why did you find soft washing? What makes you start to look for something else to bolt on to your interior cleaning carpet cleaning business? I'll just open up the floor. Who would like to talk? I can, I can start. So okay. Um, hardwood floors have taken over the uh, higher end uh, homes. We've always prided ourselves on being a uh, eight to five company instead of uh, a work all night long and commercial stuff. So um, we noticed that our customer base was using us a whole lot less as time went on. And uh, so I was really looking for something to be able to leverage that same customer base because I already had them for all these many, many years. So that's how I ended up really looking at soft walking. Because if we're already at the inside of everybody's house, why not take care of the outside? Right. So that's, that was our, my journey towards you. Were there any other things that, other opportunities that you looked at or things that, that you were drawn to that you thought might be a good bolt on? I didn't find any that I thought were really very good. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Um, so in carpet cleaning, so I'm in a very, very small market. Uh, two towns, 10 miles apart, uh, about a total of 50,000 people. 
mm -hmm. um, really tiny market. And um, when you're struggling with not enough high tickets, um, you know, then I don't want to add another service that doesn't have high ticket prices. Right. And uh, so um, with much higher ticket prices, it can actually expand my, my, uh, my range. As we had talked about before, Champagne and Bloomington and Effingham, and um, but uh, the much much higher ticket prices is uh, just put me right in. Mm. Cool. And hey, guys, um, you know Greg's talking about higher ticket prices. Y'all are probably like, "Wow, what do you mean higher ticket prices?" Well, if you look right now in your Zoom software or on this recording, you'll notice. On the right hand side, you have the ability to see the chat. And in the chat there, we've put a link. That link is clickable so that you can go ahead and click that. That's our pro forma. So it's gonna give you the breakdown of what a production unit, or what we call a production unit, which is a truck, a truck or a crew, what that truck can do per hour, per day, per week, per month, and per year and what the seasonality is of the vehicle and, and when you're actually gonna to get to a break even and what the percentage of the dollar is. It's an eight and a half by 11 sheet that really breaks it down and makes it very, very simple for you guys to see the numbers. And what from what we understand in the industry, it's actually pretty unique. Not a lot of people share the numbers with you right away. Um, we're not a franchise, so we're happy to share numbers with you. Um, we're like Mary Kay for men, you know, we're just, throwing a party, um, introducing you guys to some products, teaching you how to do a great business and letting you own it. So um, let's go ahead and jump down to Brian. Brian, tell us about how you stumbled across soft washing and if you even looked at anything else before you found us. So we had already diversified into exterior cleaning and we started with gutter cleaning, pressure washing, just kind of built as we could financially. Sure. And um, I was helping out and I'm pretty strong, but I couldn't hold an extension pole <laughs> for more than a couple minutes. Sure. And we were looking for something that would wash a house more efficiently. I'll never forget doing our first um, exterior gutter with just a pressure washer. Oh my word, it didn't come <laughs> clean. I've often said, can we please go back and do a soft wash? <laughs> and so we were looking for something to be that would be more efficient, that we could do more jobs in a day and that we could raise our per job ticket. And, and it has, soft wash has been, I would say the biggest reason that our per ticket, um, our per job um, average has risen considerably. And we're gonna go back and ask you guys some, some specific numbers on that. So be thinking about that, um, you know, cause we will talk about the numbers here shortly. Uh, but was there anything else you looked for? How did you how did you stumble across soft wash systems? Because I don't know. I, I guess we're not the easiest thing to find if you're not really thinking about soft washing. Yeah. So for us, it really was going to the website, mm -hmm. uh, doing a Google search, doing some research at my local pressure washing company, and the funny little gadget that he came up with to sell me for ten thousand dollars. I thought, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> and then I stumbled into soft wash systems and was blown away by this idea of being able to automatically mix a mm -hmm. chemical, um, a cleaning agent with the bleach automatically and not having to spend my night doing the mix right. and hoping that I have to strengthen it or weaken it uh, on the job site mm -hmm. or somewhere else. So it made so much sense for us uh, to get involved and to come down and check it out and ask questions and spend, I bet I spent an hour and a half with Whitney on the phone. Uh, very, very informative and yeah. best decision we've ever made. Well, gee, thanks. That's great. So now, well, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> can, can I record that? Oh, we are doing that. <laughs> so, so Jim, um, so tell us about your experience and, how you stumbled across soft wash systems and why soft washing was a match for you. Okay, our, our original company was Veterans Carpet Cleaning and Lawn Service because they both went so well together and especially in the name. Um, <laughs> we had had that lawn service uh, and really our you're, whole you're not, office you're, you're was- You're just teasing, right? That you're not really exactly saying- Exactly, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Half the things I say, you gotta be careful. Um, Facetious. <laughs> but the, 
the, the auspice was um, one solid high-end customer base that valued um, really good workers, work ethic on time, just the values that people are really craving because that's really why we went into business was the lack right. of solid talent in our area. And so um, we started with a carpet uh, cleaning and a lawn service. And then we started looking at the natural progression through the IICRC. We became um, certified in carpet, then went on to the typical five classes, color repair, um, the uh, odor control upholstery, um, the uh, carpet repair and reinstallation, as well as, um, uh, oh, I said color, color repair. So um, we became master textile cleaners, and then we started looking at continuing up that progression and going on into fire and smoke or water restoration. And we dabbled around a little bit in the water restoration world and realized that we would work all day. And then at two o'clock or at seven o'clock, we'd get a call and you were already worn out. You were home with the family or right, you were just right. ready to finish up the day. And then you'd get the call out and then you'd be out all night. And then of course the next morning, you know, you were just wore out. You were going to frustrate three, four clients or more. Because right. uh, you weren't going to go out the next day. So water and fire restoration did not work good with textile cleaning. So we were looking for an alternative. And, and that's what we found in soft wash systems. We mm -hmm. were already getting a lot of requests from our clients to clean the exterior of the house. They trusted us on the lawn. They trusted us inside their home. And they kept asking, you know, can you do a myriad of other tasks of which we said, no, we can't. We're becoming um, right. service master, you know, master of all trades. And so we had to narrow down our scope of work. And, uh, and so we, we started looking at pressure washing. We had a lot of requests for pressure washing. So we kind of went the natural route. We started pressure washing. That was great, but we needed to be faster. We added crud cutter. We needed to be faster. Um, we went to X jetting. We got faster, but man, we killed everything. <laughs> and then, um, and then we went and we you know, stumbled onto soft wash systems. So you say you're hard to find, but if you type in exterior cleaning, you're gonna get AC in his in his funny little hat, and uh, and and you you know you dominate that niche, and it was just one of those type of uh, searches that just soft wash systems kept coming back and kept coming back and kept coming back up on top of the search, and then pretty soon it was like we got to go check these guys out, and we went to a soft wash of Palooza, and we knew at that point this was it. Matter of fact, yeah. we knew so well at that point that the young man I took down there with me realized he needed to be in business as well and he split up and became my competition that's a whole nother story we'll let that's that a whole right nother story <laughs> yeah well yeah. and they dovetail so perfectly because now you're you're servicing the client on the inside of the home they already trust you now you can service them on the outside of the home and it extends the cleaning makes the cleaning longer on the inside right. it's just a fantastic thing and, and I've, I've noticed you say that it dovetails so well and, and, it, and it works so well together. Um, it, it really is. You're, and I've noticed that when you, make a, when you take the time to earn a client, you spend marketing money, they, they invite you out, you do a proposal, you get a customer, you do a good job, they become a client. They ask you what else you do. They want to know because you you are now part of their life. They're like, I finally found somebody that shows up and does what they said they're going to do. So they want to know what else you can offer them. So you end up having, you know, this, this customer base that you've earned. You've spent money on advertising. You've gone out and done proposals. You've done your dog and pony show. You've shown up, you know, dressed good, smelling good with your ID badge on and and all that kind of stuff. I'm getting a phone call here. I'll turn this off. And, um, you know, and, and you've got that great customer base. And for some of you guys, I know as Greg said this, and I know your market, Jim, you're not in very big markets. Um, you know, Brian, I think you're in a little bit bigger market there in Tennessee. Um, but talk to me here about the size of your markets. I think, Greg, you mentioned 50,000 approximate in your market. Um, Jim, what, what's your market? Because I love telling people what the size of your market is, but I want to steal your thunder. Tell us about so, Enterprise Alabama and the little statue in the middle of this town square. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So you're talking about the bull weevil monument. It yes. is world famous. Okay. And so Alabama used to be known for, uh, for its cotton until the bull weevil came in and decimated the, uh, uh, the cotton uh, industry. And so the bull weevil uh, did that for us and so they had to shift to another product and the peanut was that product and so 
Uh, I know Georgia is the peach and peanut state, but we create uh, and then raise more peanuts than, uh, than any other state. However, enterprise is 27,000 people. And so we're in a microeconomy, just like Greg, you got two towns for 50. We have enterprise. And then we got a couple small, really small communities around us, three, 4,000. But uh, we're about to start our second branch in Dothan, which is 45 miles away. And that is 68,000 people. So we'll have two locations separated by 40 miles. Um, and that's, that's the market that we're in. Yeah. Yeah. And then Brian, tell us about your market. Yeah. So we're in Knoxville, um, right around 200,000 uh, here in Knoxville, but then we're surrounded um, by other communities. Yeah. A lot uh, of bedroom other communities. Counties. Yeah. Um, and then of course we have Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg, which is, you know, heavy on the tourism. Um, a lot of cabin industry there, uh, opportunity for roof cleaning with all the pines and different things there. Yeah. Um, so really our area is probably 350, 400,000, um, but yet we still drive two and a half hours and service people in Nashville wow. and Cookville and Chattanooga and the surrounding area. Because, you know, when you take care of people, word travels and they want quality. And so we, you know, we continue to expand. Well, yeah, and, and, and you know, even with your immediate town being 200,000 people, uh, you know, all, all of you could drive a couple hours and, and expand your, your bubble, so to speak, and, and expand your radius and probably, probably beef up your numbers some, but that's wear and tear on your vehicles, that's overtime with your guys, that's, there's a lot of expense to that, not only the morale of your company, it's difficult to do that. So if you can stay in a tighter bubble and offer those customers more services, not more services like Jim was talking about, I clean carpets, I do landscaping, things that are in the same vein, things that don't make you look like a jack of all trades, it still looks like you specialize in something, um, that's super, super important to do for sure. Um, so, um, you know, when you look at the size of y'all's customer base uh, and you look at trying to get into other things, not a lot of things, the math doesn't always work out. And I know, Jim, you've got a very specific tilt on how the math works out and, and why it makes so much sense to look at soft washing. And you know, some people are probably in this call right now going, okay, I think I know what soft washing is. Um, but Jim, talk about what soft washing is, why it makes so much sense, and why it is a better choice on the math. Okay, so why soft washing? One, it's, it's uh, it, when we combine the two services together, the interior, the exterior cleaning, or cleaning, but starting with soft washing is, it's life cycle management of a property. And so we wanna be able to clean the outside without causing any damage. So we can get as the, the many long years of life out of our painted structures, our vinyl structures, our roofing materials to, to extend the life of the property. So the, the maintenance uh, aspect keeps the low dollar approach to the homeowner um, at, a, uh, at, at something that we can actually uh, put on a piece of paper for a, a five year, um, uh, life, uh, a five-year maintenance program, so they're able to see what needs to happen over the over this five-year period to the interior and the exterior. By keeping the exterior cleaner, it extends the cleaning and the indoor environmental air quality to the inside, and then we we improve that by by cleaning the the interior um, as well. Um, doing the either the interim or the restorative cleaning that's required. Uh, on a uh, on a regular routine basis. So typically we're on a property every six months. So let's talk some numbers. Uh, sure. The average carpet cleaning truck for the individuals that we talked to being at the experience recently, those trucks range daily anywhere from 600 to, to $800. And then the higher end um, real niche guys will be around uh, up to $1,100. One technician, tools, truck, and materials. Uh, right. We sit right at about 850. Uh, we Whoa. have two interior cleaning vans we run bane clean equipment greg you're up in there in that area so you probably know who bane clean is and uh, and so we run bane equipment we run all electrical equipment has its limitations we know that uh, especially on the vacuum side but we're not uh, but we can pull right up inside the garage if we needed to i don't do that but in hurricanes down here we have 
and cleaned without the, the hazard of killing anybody. And that extends right into the operations of the electrically operated equipment from, um, from soft wash systems. So that helps us maintain the eco-friendly eco edge that we're going after. The numbers, our average cleaning job for just carpet, carpet, sanitize, and protector is about uh, 258. Mm -hmm. The average exterior ticket is $750. So we average those two tickets out at uh, 565. Okay, so, so let's not let's not glance let's not buzz right by those numbers real quick. Okay. So you just Sorry. you just said something that's <laughs> okay. So a lot of carpet cleaners may be going, hold on, stop, back up the bus. Right. Okay, so you've got a market where you're doing an average cleaning ticket on the interior for carpets at about I think you said about 250. Yep. Um, and I'm maybe rounding off the math because I'm not great at math. Uh, and you're saying, but an exterior cleaning, your average ticket on exterior cleaning is $750. 750, 800, yep, 750, yep. Why? Uh, okay, so that's triple. How do you get okay. to a triple multiplier from service to service? Very good. So typically when we're dealing with the carpet, I use specifically the words, the average carpet cleaning. So we don't have wall to wall in every room of the carpet or every right. room of our home. Carpet's typically carrying right now about 30% of the floor space. But when we're cleaning the exterior of the home, every five years we're hitting the roof, every year we're hitting the exterior and the windows, the driveways, and then probably every other year we're hitting the wood fences and decks that, that are on the property. And so it's a function of space. Mm. Okay. So square let's look footage. at square, square footage. Yep, yep, that's right. That's sorry. One of the things that we look at as well is positioning the company. So we position the company as a roof and exterior cleaning company that also offers master interior, master textile cleaning services, high-end premium protective services for new uh, homeowners with new upholstery, new carpet, um, stone tile and grouts, things like that. And then um, maintenance uh, and restorative cleaning services, either frequently for a year, two years, or three-year program, depending on what they need. Okay, of course, we all wanna be in there every year, but let's just face it. There's just some people clean every three years. Not gonna get around right. that, that's on them. Right. So. So when we look at price points at different uh, types of cleaning that we do there, um, but we also do tile and grout. And so when you start adding the tickets, you can get some pretty significant tickets. There's no doubt about that. But the average yearly ticket for a carpet cleaning and the average yearly ticket for an exterior cleaning is three to one. Mm. And I, would say that, I would say that in, with the shrinking amount of installed carpet, uh, every year as we've raised our prices, our average ticket has stayed about the same. Well, because there's just less and less installed carpet. So, okay. So I'm right there with him on that. Yeah. And Brian and Janet, uh, I don't know. And Greg, you, you chime in on this one too, but I positioning, I know we're talking in the carpet cleaning industry. So carpet cleaning um, for us, we specifically work in, in rugs. And then we talk about tile and grout because we're walking over pennies or walking over dollars to pick up pennies. Yeah. And in this case, too, we walk right past the big box to go inside to clean for pennies. And, and you stand at the front door. You see the front door. You see the soffits and the fascia. You walk up that driveway. You're contaminating their house walking in. And that's why we wear <laughs> booties. We bring that to their attention. And, boy, it just becomes a cross-marketing feeding frenzy. Um, when you talk about the bacteria infestation on the driveway, you guys have probably been there and just watch their eyes get real big. And they're like, what? Let's go outside and show you something. Well, then, and, that, and that's something right there, Jim, that people that are on this call or watching this video later are, are not going to pick up exactly what you just said, is that the microbes that the family picks up on their feet and tracks into the house every day, we're aware of that because when you go in to clean a carpet, you put on booties because you don't want to track in fresh dirt, fresh microbes, soiling onto the carpets as you're cleaning them. But then as the family goes in and out and in and out of that home, all those microbes are being wiped off the feet onto the carpet with humidity. It, that stuff starts to grow in there. It gets picked up into the HVAC system and cycled all around the home. And it can contribute to the home having more allergens in it. And, um, and that's part of the reason why people are getting rid of carpet. But they might be getting rid of carpet for the wrong reason because they've been the ones tracking in all the contaminants into their home that if they kept the exterior of their home clean, they may not have as many contaminants inside on their carpet, unless they have those little animals that pee and poop all over the place. <laughs> 
that's another income stream, but we won't get into that. That's right. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's incredible. So, so the math works out real well. And I know, Jim, that when we've talked in the past, when you look at getting into fire or water rest restoration, what you have to do to certify your technicians, that the insurance companies don't pay very quickly. When you look at what you have to do to get into that business, which is the most logical path that a lot of carpet cleaners do, they say, hey, I should go into fire water restoration. And that's the way the industry has even pitched a lot of those companies to grow in the, in the actual carpet cleaning industry. Um, it doesn't really make a lot of financial sense in what you have to invest into it to get it going. So all of you guys have looked at soft wash systems and have looked at the expenditure of the equipment, the expenditure of the training, what it takes to get it up and going. How did that experience go for you guys? Tell us about coming into soft wash systems and purchasing that truck and starting the business and that, that first, you know, from the time you pick up your truck to your first six months, how did that go? Brian, Jeanette? It was scary, honestly, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, as we sit here thinking about, about numbers and so forth, our ticket average has doubled. Um, our client base has almost tripled. Wow. Um, since adding soft wash. Um, and when it comes to the math, um, when I think, cause I'm in the HR a lot and payroll and so forth. So mm -hmm. when I look at labor costs for carpet versus soft wash, they're usually pretty close. Carpet is a little bit higher um, than soft wash is. Um, really? Wow. Yeah. So carpet's usually between 19 and 26 percent, and soft wash has been down as low as 16 percent. Um, wow. Later. And that's strange because a lot of carpet cleaning companies, they have single person crews. They put a, a, right. a person in a truck to go out and clean. Most of the soft wash crews are two person crews. So you actually yeah. see the labor being less than the carpet cleaning that's right. interesting well that's because like jim said you know you get so much more per ticket on the soft wash of course a lot of times our soft wash jobs take longer and sure. there are two guys um but yeah um the labor is is pretty close but so those who are have who have a carpet cleaning business now are thinking oh no it's going to cost me more in labor no it won't mm, it'll probably it won't. it'll probably be a little bit less for sure but the, yeah, those first months were scary. He came home and like, hey, I'm gonna buy this new machine. I'm like, uh, uh, how much did you say that cost? <laughs> yeah, and for us, it really was a soft launch um, at first. Mm -hmm. And I never really pulled the trigger that first year to really market because my team was so busy uh, just trying to keep up uh, because you know we would send an email but we didn't really do marketing the way you would think you would normally launch a brand new service. Uh, and people just couldn't get enough of it. You know, our existing mm -hmm. clients, uh, neighbors would come out, they see this big contraption on the back of a pickup truck or in a trailer and they're like, hey, who are you? What are you doing? And they see green just disappear off the side of a house. And they're like, hey, can you come help us too? Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to make sure to put up um, real quick here uh, so everybody can kind of see what one of our trucks looks like. I'll go ahead and throw up uh, our, our YouTube channel over there in the chat section. So if any of you guys want to click on that and take a look at some of our walk around videos, you can do that. Um, you know, uh, Greg, how did it go for the first, you know, from the time you picked up your system for six months? How was it for you? Oh, it was really um, it was a great time. <laughs> mm -hmm. we, uh, so I actually went to, uh, in late January of last year, went out to one of the Vegas shows to have one of those, uh, to have Jay Riefenstein tell me that I didn't need to have a full soft wash system skid. Right. Uh, and, uh, I, I went to that convention and it was like, I think I'm getting bad advice. And so I just immediately went to discover soft wash and, um, ordered my truck right there and then that was uh, it was great we got well maybe half a season last year right um, it became so blatantly obvious that this was the best decision i'd ever made in business um that um, 
and we all we did was we marketed to our existing client base last year. So this year we we added real marketing in a whole bunch of different facets and have tracked it really well and um, ended up in September we added a second truck just on that well. So really looking forward to next year with a full year two truck. So that that's that's a good point. So. A lot of us don't know this exact number, but you know pretty well. What, Greg, what was the size of your customer base before you added soft washing? Uh, about 2,300, which is about, about all you could have out of a 50,000 people base. Okay. And has that customer base grown since you added soft washing? Yep. And, and I, I know my other numbers, but I don't, I don't have that number for you today. I wish I did. Right. Uh, because... Um, Hmm. This year we, I'm not really sure. So gross revenues, and I want to go around kind of the, 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 uh, the Brady Bunch squares here that we have on the screen. Gross revenues, Greg, before soft washing, after soft washing. Tell me about that. Well, we have, um, so we also have a janitorial business and we have a, a small water restoration, but um, so, but what I would do, I'd say that, um, uh, so this year in soft washing, our first full year, which is only going to be a seven month season as it turns out, uh, that one truck is going to do just over 200,000. And we're just getting started with that. We're learning what in the heck we're doing. Last year we did about 65,000 with, you know, out of the gate. Right. But every month has just gotten much better and much better and much better. So at this point, we're just used to two thousand dollar day. You're just you're just used to it. Two thousand dollar days are just ain't nothing but a thing anymore, huh? Well, <laughs> we like them, but we like them when they're three thousand by accident. So, so, you know, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, that's and so the beginning of the year, you know, we were thinking a fifteen hundred dollar day was fabulous, and mm -hmm. now it's, you know, that's how it's grown. Mm. Well, that's good. So percentage wise, how much do you think soft washing grew your company? Um, well, that's not fair with the janitorial business because that's such a big piece. But if you throw that out, I mean, it, well, so we're going to do um, about 30% of what we do in carpet cleaning this year in seven months. Right. So in 12 months in carpet cleaning. And, right. and next year we will just surpass carpet cleaning altogether. Yeah, well, that's great. That's very, very good. How many carpet cleaning trucks do you have on the road? We have two. Two. Okay. So you'll have two carpet cleaning trucks and two soft washing trucks. So you're going to be able to next year do a really, really good side-by-side -side comparison. Well, <laughs> yes. Um, but there is no comparison. Um, because for the ticket prices, the carpet cleaning truck can only travel so far. Right. And, um, and, and I understand your point about traveling and driving. But uh, I can drive an extra 20 minutes for a soft wash job that I could never consider. Because it's a bigger ticket. Yeah. So. Yeah. And our tickets um, sound like a lot like uh, Jim's. Um, this year, the carpet cleaning ticket was about 240. And our, mm -hmm. uh, we just did the numbers on soft wash, and it was 776. Mm. And wow. So, which is way too low still. So next year, I mean, and then if I look at the first half of this year, our average ticket, as opposed to the second half of the season, um, we were closer to 900 in the second half. And you learned a lot. You learned a lot. So let's take that for just a moment right there. And let's talk about what made the difference between the first half of this year and the second half. I think you went to a little thing called sales boot camp. <laughs> I've been to every bit of education that you have put out, and it's all <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. Now, I'm not, I'm, and I don't want to hog the conversation here, but um, the greatest thing about soft wash systems is the in-network group is the most supportive group. Uh, you know, in 27 years of carpet cleaning, everybody's out there on their own, and there's a little bit of help here and there, but nothing like in the soft wash world that we got. Yeah, yeah, awesome. So, Jim, how much, I mean, tell people the brass tacks. Company before soft washing, company after soft washing, what's the number? What was the growth? Um, you know, tell us how it's impacted your life. So, we picked up our soft wash system skid in AC's driveway July of 2015. <laughs> that, that's how big the company was at the time. 
And uh, hey, listen, I was the only guy on my street with a forklift. That's right. And you installed <laughs> two systems that day. Yeah. So, um, so we looked at you know where we were ex jetting and doing other things. And so we were probably making forty thousand dollars a year doing that. We weren't serious about it. Uh, but we knew this had great potential. So we had a 2000 client customer base at that point. We came back, um, we cleaned about six or seven different homes, all of you know, myself, John's, all of our friends, stuff like that to get some experience here. We realized that we weren't killing anything. The system was very simple to operate. We ended up getting our, certif our, our lead tech certifications at Softwash of Palooza um, the year before that. So we were all ready to go. The education, and Greg, you nailed it. The, the support you get in this industry compared to the carpet or the interior cleaning industry, hands down, this this specific location, softwash system versus anywhere else, even in the exterior cleaning world, this is it. Uh, and thank there's, you. There's nothing like it. Thank you. So the support, the encouragement, <clears throat> the accountability that comes into here, the financial models with the pro forma, all that stuff combines together to be one powerful experience. So July, um, July of 15, we put in the skid. Um, so like one year later, we looked at those numbers and, um, we were at uh, about 158,000 added to the business from exterior cleaning alone. So what we basically did is we doubled our client base overnight. We actually came back and we started a marketing program after we did the, um, the first probably 10 homes on our own and realized, Hey, we got this. This, this is much easier than the way we had been doing it. X jetting and carrying a jug around and spilling it in the yard, that kind of stuff. Um, to having a system that was designed for large commercial work, but yet easy to use and maneuver around a residential lot. That in itself um, allowed us to, to really start um, doubling our marketing efforts and cross-marketing a um, program with our existing client base for interiors. And we went from a 95% carpet cleaning business, 5% roof and exterior to today, we're now 60% roof and exterior positioning ourselves as roof and exterior cleaners. And we also do master textile cleaning and a laundry list of, of, of other things uh, that are associated with uh, interior cleaning. So um, to look at where we're at today, we are currently at um, 500, this year right now, we're at $545,000. We're gonna finish out probably around 650, Wow. And then cool. we got a 26 and a half percent net right now, projecting 27 percent at the end of the year. So we watch our stop, numbers. Stop. Go ahead. Don't, don't glance over that. <laughs> no, that, that's it. That have I mean, a 26 percent net profit this year. Before tax, let's qualify that as well. OK, yeah. and so we just want to get that in there. Um, and that's right by the pro forma. Again, right. that's the most important document you need here, I think, in, in understanding this conversation is you have a base financial model. That pro forma helps you write your chart of accounts. It helps you stay in allocation for each individual, um, you know, labor cost or your fixed expense, your operating cost, whatever it's going to be. It allows you to do a quick check. Are you in or outside of ratio? And if so, then what one is out of ratio? It really helps you understand the finances in the company. Um, and so it, it is, is really a great thing. And so percentage wise before soft washing after finding soft wash systems, yeah, percentage game, wise, how much have you grown your company? Uh, oh, game changer. There's no doubt about that. We have at, at this point, we have almost tripled the company. Whew. So what we're doing right now is we will add, we were going to raise prices again. We're going to do that here. We're working on the price sheet right now, but we will um, add 15% to our pricing list on our top six. Um, most popular services that we do. We'll touch up a few others that are in there, but uh, we're adding 15% this year. Going into in the next year, we're just going to turn the corner into 2020 with that, as well as going into a new market. We'll look at going from 650 to 1.25 in 12 to 18 months. That's, that's what we're projecting. Expanding for over into Dothan. Correct. Yeah, correct. That's and we're great. doing that. We're not going to expand into Dothan by debt financing everything either. We're taking the profit off of our existing operation in enterprise, and we will build slowly one truck at a time because we're leading in with roof and exterior. I don't have to have a physical facility to do our rug cleaning, our rug cleaning plant. I don't right. need that um, when we're running soft wash. So it's, it's a much smaller footprint. And that's really big to understand for the real estate that you're operating in is for us. 
the, uh, the rug cleaning and the, the carpet cleaning, uh, contents cleaning that we do some strategic marketing with our restoration companies here in town. We don't need that space, that warehouse space, when we are that much large warehouse space. You're gonna need a small footprint, but uh, not nearly as much as you will when you're if doing you have a rug, rug, plant. rug plant. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, and and that's huge. I mean, honestly, when when you when you're in a situation where you're making a 26 to 27 percent net profit before taxes and everything, you don't have to pay taxes on it if you reinvest it back into the company or you use that money to self capitalize. I mean, that's a, that's a great thing, being able to cash flow or become your own banker to finance the expansion of your company is huge. It's huge. I mean, that's, that's you mentioned you came and picked up your first piece of equipment from me when I was building these in my garage in Longwood, Florida. I mean, we have a multi-million dollar, multinational, you know, with, with 200 plus in network companies in nine countries now with a 100% debt-free company at Softwash Systems. And that's, that's, that's unbelievable. But I mean, when you handle your finances well, and, and, and you know, we've got a lot of financial training, financial models help with that at Softwash Systems. When you're profitable, it is free. And you've even, you've even retired a tremendous amount of debt in the last two years too. Yeah, that's something that needs to be addressed here too, I think is, in our carpet cleaning um, side, we did debt finance everything on the front side. Uh, our banker did a, a huge disservice to us as we tried to restructure some, some long-term debt. And instead of extending the term out, they actually crushed it down by a year. And that put an immend- uh, tremendous uh, pressure on us. At that point, we asked AC to come in, take a look at the business and help us with some things. And you had a pretty serious piece of advice, which was, you guys don't get to take a profit off the company. You have to really do some things to reinvest that profit to get yourself cleaned up. And so that was the precipice that led us to paying off um, $270,000 in debt in 30 months. And so we we wouldn't have been able to do it if we didn't have the profit side of this this division, soft washing. That's awesome. And, and, and And I wanna give AC some credit here as well to be able to come in and look at a struggling company for those that may see this and realize that, Hey, this company is in your favor. It's in your corner where everybody else just wants to sell you a bucket of soap or a piece of equipment. These folks really want you to succeed. So when they're talking about the, uh, the business principles and practices that are going on there at Softwash systems, he's not saying to talk about his company. He's talking about that because he will help you develop that within yours as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a third generation service business entrepreneur. My dad was in the service industry. My grandfather was in the service industry. Um, I've got a lot of experience. I love helping other companies. I, I've got an agricultural background too, so I love to watch things grow. And, um, you know, my goal in this, honestly, is, is, is we all need to make a living. I mean, we're not going to tiptoe around that or anything else. Yeah, I, I love building this business and I love the ability to go out and, and make a good living off of this business. But what, what is so much more fulfilling than that, because we can all make money, making money is just a thing that we have to do, is the ability to work with businesses on a daily basis, helping them figure out the puzzle, go through the struggles, grow their businesses, free themselves from debt. That's, that's a lot of fun for me, and that, that feeds me personally, just as a side note. All right, so Brian and Jeanette, tell us about the change it's made in y'all's finances and your business and how much you've grown, and you know, give us the dollar and cents. Yeah, so we started soft washing in 2017. Okay. Um, and... You know, we run a lot of different services, janitorial, house cleaning, other things. Um, but when we just really compare carpet to soft washing, um, over the last three years, we've seen about a 35% increase in revenue. Mm. Um, so we're looking at probably doing about 325000 this year just in soft washing. Wow. Uh, which we're totally stoked with for one truck. For, yeah, for one truck, you're 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 taking that pro forma and you're really stretching it right there. Especially, yeah. you know, being in an area that you guys get a little bit of winter. Yeah, if exactly. We, if we had the employees <laughs> to do the work, we would 
in, and in place to train, we would probably come get a truck in March. Yeah. But we don't. So we, we keep doing what we can. We're working on robotics. I promise it's coming. We're going to have little guys that jump up on the roof and it's going to be like Star Wars, you know? They're all going to be made out of titanium so bleach doesn't hurt them. It's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, so in 2017, we had about 3,000 clients. Mm -hmm. uh, we looked just a little bit ago. We have over 10,000 clients now. Whoa, holy smokes. Yeah, so... You know, and part of that is contributed to some of the other services that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is amazing how many people go, wow, you do this. Wow, you do that. Hey, right. you can take care of my windows and my roof and my gutters and my deck and my driveway. Uh, because people really are looking for someone that they can trust right. to take care of those services for them. So do you see... I, I think I know the answer to this, but I just want you to elaborate. <laughs> but do you see that, you know, the, at first the carpet cleaning customers were who you introduced soft washing to and that got you started, but you've gained customer base and you're doing a, a lot of soft washing and those customers you've been able to introduce to your carpet cleaning and pick them up. Are we seeing a, a dual feeding action going on? Absolutely. Yes, most certainly. Yeah, and the other cool thing that we've seen is some of the commercial accounts for soft washing. Uh, we've been able to do a hotel. Uh, we've been doing church steeples. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done entire church buildings. Uh, we've done commercial business centers. Uh, and these particular um, accounts have afforded us then the managers on site, people that work there, um, and they're interested because they've worked there. They know how dirty it is. Mm -hmm. uh, and suddenly they're like, hey, can you come to our home? Uh, can you help my mom? Uh, and it's really been a great marketing tool, just taking care of our regular business clients. Mm. Wow. So, um, so as we kind of close out this conversation that we're having, and we're, we, we're about 45 minutes into it here, um, what would be your big takeaway? If you were to challenge the people that are watching this video, um, what would be your encouragement or your challenge or your takeaway, your action item to them? Anybody can jump in at this point. I would say if they're, if they're questioning or wondering if this might be something they add, go to Florida, check it out, um, you know, give us a call. Uh, email us because um, diversifying your services is because like somebody one of the other guys mentioned earlier we're stepping over dollars right. you know with tile and grout and, and you're you're stepping over as our carpet guys walk in somebody's home they're they're walking through money that we're just you're just missing out on if you don't take the opportunity because those things need to be clean yeah, you're tripping over dollars to pick up nickels, as, as I think is what the saying is. Right. But yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, so yeah, you're saying get down to Florida, go to oh, Discover Soft sure. Wash. And that's what that's what sold us on it. I mean, he, he found it on the internet. He, he looked into it some, but then he came to Florida and it's without me. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> We're in counseling, it's okay. It's <laughs> gonna look a little salty over that one, I see. <laughs> I've yet to be to soft wash sisters USA, but I will yes. get down there in the next 12 months. But um, yeah. And, and well, just, just so like, you know, we're out of my garage now and um, <laughs> we're taking over the building that we're in. We've got half I've the building heard. now. So yeah. Yes. <laughs> the last time he was down there, that had happened. And, 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 and I will piggyback on what Jim said, soft wash doesn't just, you know, sell you a bucket of soap. Um, they invest, you know, I mean, there's been times when pumps have been down and, our guys have not known what to do. Brian's like, well, call them, call them in Florida. And, and they, they walk us through, they troubleshoot. And it's just not a bucket of soap and a piece of equipment, but it's, it's a relationship and they, um, they see it. It's a heart of service. It's, so. Cool. Greg, let's go to you next. What would be your, your encouragement to fellow carpet cleaners? What, what do they need to do with this information tonight? Well, so I guess I would say this in two ways. One, so we're looking at expanding to our next location in Champaign, uh, which is also the city I live in. 
Mm -hmm. But we're looking to expand only the soft block part of it because it's why do I want to bring the other complexity of a lower profit to the next location? So I'm just looking at expanding soft blocking. Not that I'm getting rid of carpet cleaning in my original area, but uh, but so what I would always say is though, I mean, my time at Discover Soft Rocks made all the difference in the world because mm -hmm. I had well, at that time it was a five day class, which was probably an extra day longer than it needed to be. But I had all that time to talk to you guys, to uh, learn really what the heck all of this was and to see all the different aspects of it because it's not just uh, this is the how to factor. It was the marketing and it was the business and it was all of that stuff put together. How you got the whole, whole package there. And after you know spending a week in Florida learning all that stuff, it made it a really simple decision because I knew what I was buying. Yeah, and that's the really great thing about Discover Soft Wash. And for all of y'all, I've I've put the link to Discover Soft Wash in the chat. Um, but it's the ability to come down and kick the tires and check it out and see if it's a match. Um, we're not a franchise, guys. Um, I always have to make that really, really clear. We are not a franchise. There's no geographically protected territories. There's no royalties. There's no big chunk of upfront money that you that you give us to get into the network. We're Mary Kay for men. Right? We have a product line. We, we give you the product line. You're building your business. You have your brand, your name, your company is on the side of the truck with a little Mary Kay sticker in the back window, so to speak. We give you a shield that you put on that truck. It's a brand that says that you're part of our family. You're part of our tribe. You're part of our group of in-network companies that we all fly the same flag, so to speak. But we let you build your business, your asset, your value with very franchise-esque and robust support services that makes it easy for you to grow this new line of business and honestly will help you improve your current line of business, carpet cleaning, and the way that we do business, how we market, how we set up business systems, it's going to really help you grow. So we do this Discover Soft Wash thing so that you can come down, kick the tires, get to know us, meet the staff, Take a look at the place, see if our bathrooms are clean, see if the floor is clean, see if we practice what we preach, and then make a decision whether or not you want to join the soft wash revolution through soft wash systems. So, Jim, I'm going to let you take us home, man. You've got the last word here. Tell us what the takeaway is for you and your encouragement to the carpet cleaning world for looking at soft washing through soft wash systems. Okay, so just before we started this, I wanted to write down what the benefits were being with the organization that we have realized. Some things that, that really made uh, a significant contribution to our day-to-day -day operations, our bottom line, the peace of mind and um, the environment in which we work in. I wrote down 10 things. By adding soft wash systems to our current carpet cleaning and, and rug bath facility, it doubled our client base overnight. How many marketing programs do you know that you can do that? So it instantly doubled it. it. It increases the frequency of use by our clients back to our own company twofold, increases top of mind awareness because you're now in the person's home or on their property at least every six months, or if not, at least one time a year for the whole thing if, if, they, uh, if they're having it all done at one time. Cross marketing that, that of course raises that top of mind awareness. You're offering a newer high value offering that complements your interior cleaning, helps you position the company differently from your competitors on, on, in, the, in the carpet cleaning world, because this is more rare than carpet cleaning and high end carpet cleaning. So it positions you completely different. It's the alternative to the water and fire and smoke restoration track that most people are kind of headed down because they're geared automatically to that. Mm -hmm. it's easier to train yourself, your staff, your technicians, it's easier to estimate. I do most of my exterior estimates on um, uh, Google Earth, and then I do an in-person brief for, for the estimate, doing the seven-step sales process. You'll be trained how to sell and close more sales at a higher ticket price. Uh, number eight is uh, it's computer-based training. So now you have the ability to train your staff in the comfort of your own office, and it'll save you money from having to put people on the road, send them to class, um, and you'll be able to train them right there in-house. Fantastic opportunity there. We, we also are up to 100 
classes now, 100 classes or tutorial videos on the Softwash Systems Academy online. So just wanted to mention that. Okay. Um, be, this will help you be your own strategic partner instead of uh, ha passing work out to a, uh, uh, a local uh, pressure washer or someone like that. You're able to keep those dollars in, in the house. So you've got one trusted company working um, and doing many um, essential services for, for that high value client that will appreciate you and then the efforts that you got. Brian, you nailed it. You know, I know, Greg, you got that same thing going on based on your customer base, but Brian, you really kind of brought that home as yeah. the size of that customer base and, and really talking about that, that uh, um, being able to grow it so fast and, and along with, you know, leveraging soft washing and then, and then coaching, coaching and the support and encouragement inside this network specifically saved our business. Mm -hmm. That was a quick 10 that really took me about probably about two minutes to write that down. But I, no joke, I wrote it on a piece of paper right here before we started this. <laughs> Those are immediate benefits that we realized. Right That's there. awesome. Yeah. So what's your, what's your encouragement? What's the action item that you tell everybody right now? Oh, download the pro forma. I think I beat that horse to death, but get a financial model for your existing business at a minimum. Try to figure out how you can take that exact same financial model and apply it to your carpet cleaning business. If you do nothing with softwash systems, go get that pro forma. Yeah. Yeah. So there it is, guys. Uh, we've just spent an hour with you talking about this bolt on this new product, this thing that you can introduce to your customers. It's called soft washing and it's the alternative to pressure washing. And <clears throat> although a lot of us don't like the F word, the franchise word, we're trying to provide for you guys an unfranchised model, a way to get into this business with the support that you crave, with the camaraderie that you crave, with the products that, that are stood behind, that are top shelf, best they can humanly possibly be products, equipment, chemicals, and training to help you do this business so that you can take, frankly, an industry that's in decline, the carpet cleaning business, uh, where less carpet is in homes, uh, the frequency of tickets has been reduced, and take that customer base and magnify, multiply, take a, a treasure that you already have and introduce that client base to soft washing and pull your butts out of the fire right now. Pull your butts out of the fire right now. Change your business destiny. Get more lifeblood coursing through the veins of your business and cash flow. Get yourself actually profit positive in your business and change your service business legacy by bringing on soft washing. I mean, yeah, soft washing is just a different way of cleaning the exterior of a building. But as you've heard from everybody tonight, yes, we've got cool equipment, we got cool chemicals, but the bottom line is, is the benefits of the network is the support, the camaraderie, the training, the coaching, which is not only gonna change the soft washing side of your business. It's gonna change the carpet cleaning, the janitorial cleaning, the window cleaning. It's gonna make everything better so that you can finally get ahead of the eight ball, get up above your business and start enjoying your family, enjoying your life and, and living the life that you prayed you hoped you were going to have when you started your business. And that's what we want for you guys. Um, yes, I'd love to sell you a piece of equipment. Yes, I'd love to sell you some chemicals. But more than anything else, I'd love to just get my finger in your pudding called your life and help you have the same story that these three people have on here tonight. Um, because that's where real change happens. Um, and, and, and we just want you to come down to Orlando, Florida, kick the tires, come to Discover Soft Wash. And if it's a match, if you like us and we like you and you think this is going to work for you, We'll go on this journey together. Right, guys? Yep. yep. Absolutely. All right, cool. No doubt. Well, thanks so much for everybody joining us tonight. And, hey, if you're interested, just click on the links we have here on the side, or you can contact Softwash Systems at 855-763-8669, or find us on the web at www.softwashsystems.com. We've got a YouTube channel. We're on Facebook at Softwash Systems. You can find us. We are actually very, very easy to find. I was just playing coy with all of you guys when I said that, trying to be humble. But the bottom line is, is call us. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. And we will see you soon.